Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back, finally, with another easy quilt block. We are going to do a super easy block that I just made up. I want to go with as easy as possible because it's late and I don't have much time and I want to get this uploaded tonight. I am calling this a 1351 block because that's about as creative as I can get. That's telling us the size of the strips that we're going to be cutting. But we will be making four strips, but we are using only three colors. I'm going to have my narrow strips on each end of the block in red. Once again, I just picked wild and crazy. None of this goes together. I don't care. My three inch strip will be out of this thing. And my five inch strip will be like this. I am going to be cutting my strips eight and a half inches tall or wide, whatever way you look at it. Let me cut and I'll show you what I did. I cut my strips and this is what I have. I have a five inch wide, a three inch wide, an inch wide, and an inch wide, and they are all eight and a half inches tall. When we sew these together, the block should be eight and a half by eight and a half using a quarter inch seam allowance, approximately. Don't worry about that. You can always trim your block to make it square when you're done. I am going to sew these together. I'm going to sew this to this. Then I'm going to go ahead and sew this to this. I'm just going to do that at the same time. I'm going to send this through and I will send this through. I will press those open. I'll be right back. I now have this and this and I'm going to sew these together. I kind of like this. Am I under camera? There we go. Even though it's like weird, I think it's quite funky. Do love funk! This is our block. I actually really like it. I love the, um, the, the narrow strips being a solid color and I love the funkified center. I wanted to tell you obviously if you would be making a quilt using this and you're using all the same prints, the red strips or whatever, your one inch strips, you would not have to cut them eight and a half. You could just cut them the whole width of your fabric into very long one inch strips and you would just sew and then trim off after the fact. You know what I mean? You don't have to cut the strips. And the same with this, you could just cut across the width of your fabric a five inch strip and then you just go and cut eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half all the way down. Just whatever you can do to make it go quicker. And uh, this is what we have. I do indeed have this uh, eight and a half wide. And it's a little bit more than eight and a half tall because I allowed some wiggle room. I probably did more like eight and three quarters. So I can just trim these ends and that's gonna be a perfect eight and a half inch block. And I really like it, I really do. So I'm just gonna go put this on the design board and let's see what I can come up with. I hope you enjoyed, please subscribe so you don't miss any future easy quilt blocks. I will be back with more soon. Bye.